Okay, welcome to ATN News. We're looking at a buoy cam image in between Washington and Vancouver Island. This is station 46088. Just an interesting image. Let's go look at this image. See how the sun right here and there's some kind of reflection or something on that side. A pretty picture though but that's in between Vancouver Island and Washington now we look at the earthquakes look at Hawaii how it's doing I mean anyone could see that something's going to happen at any time around Hawaii or real soon 2.5s and greater here's our 2.5s and greater we have one down here on the Helena Fault 2.5 4.1 miles deep and a 2.5, 19.7 miles deep. This one is in the chambers, so we don't count that one. This one up here, 3.00.5 miles deep. That's right at the surface next to it. But these are the ones that's concerning. And we got over here Mauna Kea, 2.7, close to Mauna Kea, 5.6 miles deep. It's not looking good for Hawaii reason we keep talking about it but anyway this is Alaska and the 2.5s and greater has increased 3.2 up here we've been having a lot of activity over here going right over to the Bering Strait and if you follow the fault line down it will go right down to Yellowstone but let's look at the 2.5s and greater here 3.5 south, southwest of Campwell, Alaska, 4.8 miles deep. 3.1 east of Pedro Bay. And south of Alaska, north of Fox River, 2.7, 34.6 miles deep. Around the bay is 83.9 miles deep. Okay, that's not much going on from what, you know, is going on around the plate. Anything can happen up here especially around the Gulf or somewhere. You know, we just got a lot of activity going on. And here's the activity. said so that's just a 1.7. Okay, Yellowstone, it's got a 1.8 east of Kelly, Wyoming. Mount St. Helens, 0 0.9, 11.5 miles deep. And that one is 0, 0.0 miles deep. It's right at the surface of Yellowstone. Okay, we only have one 2.5 or greater over here in the west. That's 2.6 east northeast of Willits, California, 3.5 miles deep. You zoom in, these scatter out. Still got activity around Indian Springs, Beatty, Nevada. And we're getting some activity up here around the pyramids, north northeast to Reno. Just 1.1 .1 right there. And I'm sure that. There's some a little bit bigger in there, and 3.6 miles deep. But Kansas, we had a 3.7 north northeast of Bennington, 3.1 miles deep. Not showing nothing else. This is a bad area right now. It's under stress. Don't know how long it'll hold. Okay, this is the east. And Canada is reported shaking near Canmore, Alberta. And over here at Boston, reported shaking. This is where I'm talking about that it's coming in on, you know, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is spreading and it's pushing. Well, it causes seamounts to pop up all through here. It's in a line, so if it's a seamounts, it's a ridge going over to the Atlantic Ridge. You put pressure on this, it's going to put pressure on this. So we can expect that in the future. And hope no everyone sees it coming. Okay, that down here in Texas, 3.2, west southwest of Manton, Texas. Got a, you know, and a few more quakes in there too, 2.5 and greater. Got this going on around. 
Let me see if that's, yeah, that's Puerto Rico. But it's still going out toward the trench. 3.7 north northwest of Sandy Ground Village. You know, when it's going out toward the trench like that, we really got to watch. And Jamaica, 4.7. Starting to increase down here. Okay, now let's look at these. I'm going to bring it back. You're going to see some white flashes. Now we got Iceland starting up again. 4.4. And that is 6.2 miles deep. We need to zoom in and look at that quake here in a moment. And we had a 5.3 in China. 6.2 miles deep. And we got a couple down here. On the Scotia, one on the Scotia Plate, and this Southwest Indian Ridge. That's a 5.1, 19.1 miles deep, and a 5.4 Southwest Africa. So, you know, it, it's moving, all of it's moving. We see them here, and then we see them here, we see them here. Now we got them up here in Iceland. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, you see this. We've seen the crack occurring right here. Well, that's when, you know, they seen the magma and they thought the whole place was going to erupt right then. But all I could see was it's cracking. If it's cracking, it's right on the main ridge, the lava flow, you're going to see magma. But then it kept building up and building up. Or they put water or something in it and, you know, made it block up and caught, it erupted. Well, this ridge goes all the way up through here. This is all the Mid-Atlantic Ridge going all the way up through here, really, if you get to looking at it. And just got different names, like Ragens or Ragens Ridge, or how they want to pronounce that. I don't know how they pronounce it. It doesn't matter. But this 4.4 .4 is right in it. And soon, if anyone lives in this area, down this crack, if you know this is separating, then you know... This is going to separate into two pieces of land. Iceland is going to split in half. You can see it coming. That's your early warnings. Alright, now this here is the Canary Islands. And we got two hot spots. If anything happens and the flank breaks off over here, I mean this whole section right here breaks off. That would cause a huge tsunami in the east coast around Boston, New York. We have no tsunami stations. One is broke loose and floated way out toward the other countries, toward the United Kingdom and Africa, and the other one is has been shut off. But this here is La Palma Island, you know, Canary Islands. Here we go, La Palma. But here's the imprint that we looked at before. This one has went way out here. This one is around the imprint that we usually see. So something is running, and if you don't see it on the island, it's right up under the surface, or it wouldn't be putting out the heat like it's putting out. That's what this satellite does, is collect, you know, it goes by heat. Okay, we got this here, and you can see the anomalies, it's a different color. And NASA even shows them too. You can click on, uh, go on this site, click on 24 hours, and then Landsat 30 M, and click on that one. Let me see it, what we got right here. Okay, that's just one. Well, Australia's got a lot of fires or something going on. I guess you can see that. There's Africa. All of it's piling up up here now. This here may fill in. Alright, I was just looking around. I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe. And, and I about forgot this quake right here. Let me go to the right ones.
All right, I'm gonna back it up. We got another six point. That's upper upper six to a lower seven coming. Or well, it's a seven plus anyway. If, you know, upper six to a seven plus. And right here we got this activity in Iceland to four point four. That's not good because either we get that big quake or we get an eruption or something. Anything that relieves the pressure. And we got this one over here, 3.7 in Kansas. And look how Alaska's doing. That's 2.5 in greater. And we got this one over here in China, 5.3. But now we have another earthquake coming. And we just had this one, 3.0 east of Boonville, California, 2.3 miles deep. You'll see a little bit of activity on the Cascadia. Don't know what size, but we will see it as this pressure moves because it pushes on this. When the plates are pushing, it pushes on the Cascadia, and that's where we see the pressure. Well, if it don't give here, it'll come on down the plate or to be over here on this side. So we just got to watch the ring of fire. We know it's coming, and we just got to be prepared in our area in case it hits our area. Sometimes we can get closer. Right now, Looks like it's going to hit over here, but I'm not sure. It could either come down through here and come off the cocoa plates, junction off, and go toward this way, or South America. South America is clear, but that don't mean nothing either. Can't go by that. I think it's going to hit over here. Three to five days, we got another one coming. Upper six to a seven plus. Now, I'll see you next time, and like I said, we'll be watching.